We had a vacuum try. Uh... Let's say Lorraine and uh, uh, Lorraine, uh, that's her. I gotta figure out what it is. Vacutron is. Oh well. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I gotta put that, put them in there. Pick up the dust. Oh, I gotta pick it up. Okay. That's how you empty the vacuum cleaner, I guess. Hello, mice. All right. I'm confused about this part. Tell I use the built in uh, vacuum with a, on the mouse. I suck on it. Um, huh? Vacuum up mice, maybe later. Oh. Ouch. That hurt. Okay, I need to pick that. I picked it up. I know I should have done that, uh... I never use it. Okay, now what I'm supposed to do... Oh, the Hubble Cat. Okay, it says that. Uh... Well, 
Nice. Look at that sucker go. He just keeps running and running and running. Nice, you got it. Woo! All righty. That's what's up. I got Bernard now. Now it's him. That's what I said. Purple, uh, purple tentacle man of the year. Uh, let's go talk to her. Oh, he's gone now. Oh, I already did that sleepwalk, yeah. All right, go to uh, Fred's office. All right. I gotta have him sign it, okay. Did you say you have a PP41 facilities paraphernalia declaration over there? Okay, get, get oh yeah. No. Hey, you can't go in there. Good thing we've got Dr. Fred under wraps in the next room, huh? What is it? We're, we're we're Dr. Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred. We've got him safely locked in the next room while we go over his books. No, you can't go in and see him. And don't even think. I'll just keep your nose clean. Say, what's the filing date for a BFD 206? I gotta find out the, uh... Okay, yeah, that's, that's gonna be tough. It says a fireplace. I can't get up there, though. Oh, I gotta go to the fireplace, never mind. Talk to her. Dr. Fred must still be asleep. Okay. It won't fit through those little grommets. I gotta use the robe right here. Okay, it says go on the roof and then enter the window. Use the pick up the rope and, and get back into the roof. Use the point there, go back to the chimney and the front door. Okay.
Hi. Hi, train for the rapid to Bernor. All right. Oh, never mind. Uh, you, you use it. No, I like it the way it is. Ted is red. See red Ted. Hi, right, Bernard. Hi. Right. I don't think that will do much good at the moment. I don't think that will do much good at the moment. There we go. That's kind of weird. Okay, pull the rope. Had to fall into the ground. I gotta go back to the attic there. That's gonna pull it now. Uh, we got it. Oh. All right. Go back to the basement and use the funnel. All right. Yeah, go back to the basement. All right. I want to touch the attic. Let's go. Now what? Uh... Okay, here you know. You know, yeah, that work. I can't carry him. That didn't do much. That didn't do much. Okay, now what's it supposed to do? I'm not sure I like that idea. Huh? I'm not 
not sure I like that idea. For fun now, I've got to get him out of here. Use the rope. I don't think I can do that. I'll use it. Nah, not right now. What for? What for? I can't carry you. Huh? What about the dude? Back in the basement, use the funnel with the doctor. Well, how you get him out? That's what I want to... Dr. Frank must still be asleep. That didn't do much. I get out of here. Oh, I got to pull it now. I don't think that will do much good from here. I don't think that will do much good from here. I'm confused about what's going on. Okay, back in the basement, you to follow with doctor. You... But how? It said you to dangle the robe on cousin T, then you to red paint, return to the room full of it after falling to the ground, return to the anyway. Cousin T is now sitting in the corner. You to T with doctor, then you to pull, you to robe with doctor, go back down to the roof and pull the robe once more. I pulled it. He he seen him. Nah, not right now. She said not right now. What for? Nah, not right now. That didn't do much. No, the rope. Pull the rope, not him. Don't go any further. Uh, there is nothing attached to it. Uh, oh well. Uh. Yeah, back in the basement. We gotta get him out of the. It will spill all over. Not funny enough. So you need something. Okay, it's a back to you to follow with Dr. Fred and you to call me. I'm I mean, this, this is confusing me right here. It says you to... I need something attached to it. But how? Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm confused there. I'd rather not. I don't think I can do that. Oh! Okay. Oh, okay, that was dumb. I did that before they said I can't, I can't do that. Nah, I'm not gonna make that mistake again.
Oh, we got it. Ouch. Oof. Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. Well, I got him in here. Uh, now I can use it. I'm not sure I like that idea. <laughs> He's already unconscious. Decaf might kill him. But it's worth a try. Ah, uh, there you go. Now, uh, they use coffee, decaf. Use a Starbucks coffee. Coffee Achiever. I woke him up. Look at my boozy door. He's awake. Damn good coffee. Coffee wakes you up all the time, okay? I got the contract for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. All right. Oh, yeah? If you refuse, okay. All right, it says that he refused to sign and tell him that he would do it by himself. Dead, pick any option that can trick him, okay. I'm getting purple tentacle declared insane. That's a good idea, but I need a note signed by a doctor. Oh. Hey, I'm a doctor. We're in luck. We got it. Thank you, we got it. Dollar puzzle are hard. Yes, it is. All right. Oh, we almost to the uh, end of the game, though. All right, we got it. I've seen a percent. Yup, we all is and we got eight percent done. Alright, we gotta go to way in now. Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? <laughs> Are you like, what? Uh, oh, shit. Sure. My Pony Express stamp. You'll ruin my Pony Express stamp. Not to mention five years of therapy. <laughs> Get out of my room. Jeez, what a plump. You should really try to find some outlet for those. Okay. Negative feelings. I pick that up. I use a stamp and a sack and a handle to hoagie. What a stamp collect stamp album. I hit the air. Are you sure we don't need to add anything about hideous, slimy, super intelligent tentacles? Don't be absurd.
Alrighty. Yes, what do you want? Hi there. Is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, <laughs> Spock. Star Wars? Hey, Star Trek, I mean, Star Trek. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. Oh, nice! What? Maniac Mansion! This is Farley Crook. No, I heard that, you moron! Oh, right now. It's been. I gotta hear Maniac Mansion. Get me a travel agent! This is an emergency! Uh, go down to the floor to the Wayne's room. I don't know the Wayne's. in the way now I'd better find a different one okay call fatty jeez couch potato um I want to buy a dot that will be two card of course I have card number it's um mr Okay. Uh, that will just send me a... Okay, it says, uh... Okay, I'll see no phone. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Procto Post light speed delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that. Oh, uh, we got this. I better get this to dump. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. Can we bring back my friends now? Yeah. We've repaired the primary device, but before we can do anything, both time pods must be energized as well. Then we can bring back uh, what's his name and who's her face? Hoagie and Laverne. Yes. Fine specimen. I so Let's go
Nice. According to my instruments, all right. Is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch. Great. We did it. Poggy, I'm so happy. Look at Look, wow. I'm so glad you two made it back, okay? I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sledge o -matic. Huh? Say what? Right. <laughs> you can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Yeah, go. Agree, uh, Tentacle. Go. Uh oh, I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait. You can't all go. We just did. Didn't you see the fly? No. and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now, wait just a minute. It's green tentacle. What was that green? Uh-oh, he's behind us. I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, over oh, grown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? The Stop saying that. This army, of course. Oh, gosh. Yikes. You gotta say something. I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chrono Jar. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge o -Man. There's a lot of them. Oh, my, oh my god. Touch the sludge o -matic. Now, Richard, I must decide what excruciating tortures to leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. Oh, my. Oh, Jesus. of you come with me what do we do now whoa it wears off aha run for it turn around the battery must not have had time to recharge but it will Oh, not working. He's like, darn. Shh. Maybe he won't find us. You who, where are you, human? Paperweight. 
I'll go to the mouth hole. All right, so agree, agree. Okay. I grab the bowling ball and open the door and leave. Okay, it says that when it, uh, there's no sign of the of the purple tentacle, old tentacle. So while the east is clear, head downstairs to the lobby and go through the dark passage to the and, and use the ball of ball. Okay. Hey, where'd he go? I'm going out of the basement. Oh, that is so awesome! Great! Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Not yet. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans amount to very little. <laughs> Eek! I think I talked to him. Significant insect. <laughs> let, me, let me talk to him. What is with you against humans anyway? Just what is it you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together I... and glue on your shoes. Sometimes a great shot. See what I mean. It sounds like it's all Fred's fault. Sounds like that's all Dr. Fred's fault, really. Hmm. Yup. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demon? Okay, it says that uh, there is a Jesse. Fred. Why don't you zap Dr. Fred if you hate him so much? Hmm. For <laughs> Talk. Surely. Ooh. Wait. You haven't heard the last of me, huh? I guess we did. We stepped on him. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go. Yeah, we did it! Woo! All right! Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Here's the free. The eulogy. Ah. Uh, that was a good game. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible. Right. My clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. I don't know. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Yeah. Hmm. He said, I got it. Mm. Idiots! It seems you're not exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. 
They're like, what? <laughs> so they was just stuck there, uh, walk through the clothes the whole time. <laughs> okay, that was kind of weird. Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. Look at Lorraine. Ooh, that's a good game. The air. Woo! Completed it. Oh, that was a good, that was an amazing game. Good, uh, thank you, Double Fine. I'll take a picture of there.